Squad cars get attention. Long arm of the law. Even empty ones parked along the side of the freeway cause you to check your speed, put your cell phone out of sight. But in pedestrian areas, squad cars can be a bit overkill. That's where the mounted police officers come in. The long stride of the law. Able to cut through a crowd quickly whenever public safety is at risk. This is Captain Rakes, who runs the Mounted Police Training Center right here at Kentucky Horse Park, where horses learn to prepare for anything. She and her mount showed me a few of their tricks for stopping bad guys. I could do a head-on approach like this, and I could say, move, get back, and I could walk forward, and you either gonna stand there, yeah. or I'm gonna walk and use his shoulder to push you out of the way. Yeah, if he wants me to move, I'm probably gonna do it. So if something happens, maybe you, you're trying to pull me off. Yeah. Yeah. If I turn my horse like this, yeah. you're just going to walk a circle. See, you're right. just gonna be able to hang with me. You're not gonna, I'm not doing anything, am I? Right. But now, if I turn my horse a different direction, right. and I use his motor, Okay, right. it's gonna push you right here. Now watch his feet, he'll right. get stepped on. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm gonna use his hips <laughs> <laughs> to push you off. Yeah. And that was pretty Good boy. slow. And when we do it in practice, the guy's feet literally leaves the ground when we practice it. <laughs> <laughs> Police mounts aren't made overnight. It can take a year or longer to train these horses for the job. Additionally, once officers have been trained to maneuver with these horses, they also have to learn to take care of them on a daily basis. This upkeep is costly and adds pressures and challenges to police departments considering mounted units. But most of your major cities kept a mounted force of some sort. I have seen this a number of times. We gotta save $200,000 or whatever it right. is. Let's disband the mounted unit. Within a year or two years, they bring those guys back because they realize they, mm. the value of them. Right. What are some advantages being on actual horseback that like you couldn't do, say, on foot or mountain bike or something um, like that? When we're on the horse, you got to remember, we're walking at a slow speed. Right. We're seeing things that when you're in the car, you're not, you're not going to see. What the horse does that these other things can't do is they're, they're a bridge between the police yeah. who's riding them and the public. Right. So nobody ever wants to come up and say, oh, can I pet your, can I pet your car? But the horse, they come up to the officer on the horse and they say, oh, what kind of horse do you have? And then all of a sudden we have a dialogue going and yeah. we, you know, you, they start opening up about things that may be going on in their community and you develop some sort of a friendship with them. You start learning things about your neighborhood. People wave at you, they smile, they're out there trying to take pictures. Uh, and that's and gotta be huge, just opening a line of communication. Exactly. I mean, you can't put a price on that, so. No. Well, it may seem like a lot to handle. The work can be very satisfying professionally and emotionally. For Captain Rakes and people like her with a calling for horses, their mounts become more than just a horse. They become partners and friends for life. This video is inspired by our PBS series, Reconnecting Roots. Visit ReconnectingRoots.com to watch the full episodes or to check out our music and podcast. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe so we can keep making more. Thanks for watching.